plan. See you there. Smell of rain. Or is heavy with it. Flora spoke of a bandit camp and some metal ruins. That must be the place there. Best to keep an eye out around here. I'm glad you came. You're glad? Why? Call it a shared interest. And call me Nil. Look there, those old rocks. A bandit clan squats under them. Disturb the rocks and they'll come wriggling out. Worms that they are. Bandits. Why have they come here? The Nora are in trouble. And rumors spread like blood. With no braves to guard the border, killers hungry for sport slip right through. My partner and I shadowed these scum for days. 
Good tracker, but he went on ahead without me. We talked about this kind of behavior. Still, I understand. Leave it too long, your fingers itch for the bowstring. Say, how about you and I work together? Kill them all. I don't know you, and I have no reason to trust you. Trust is a rare egg to find, isn't it? I'm just a traveler, with a bow, concern about the state of these lands, and a missing partner. I don't think you're just anything at all. Hmm. Let me put it another way. Are you a bandit? <laughs> of course not. Then you have nothing to fear from. All right. Someone has to stop them from hurting others. And we will. We'll stop them from doing anything. Safe screen. Go ahead and take the lead. I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. That's the alarm. Let them sound it and more will come running. It's a gift. And if you're the heroic kind who needs a little extra, there's the captives. holding a bite his tongue a little, with a taste of blood in his mouth. I see the alarm. Hope I don't hear it, too.
something out there? Longhorns! There, the bandits' captives. Am I hearing things? <laughs> Thank you. 
Seeker, may I speak with you? I'm honored. I... All mother be praised. Are you alright? Is there something you need? Yes. My friends and I watched you clear the bandits out of this camp. We're glad. They would steal from us. Chase us through the night laughing. We're outcasts, not braves. Almost defenseless. Where did you all come from? Some of us have wandered the sacred lands for years. As for me, the village I grew up in was burned in the Red Raids. I'm ashamed I wasn't there to protect them, but I was an outcast long before the Karja came. How did you all come to be here together? You wonder how we speak to each other when the law forbids it. But what hope do we have here, outside the embrace, alone? I wasn't judging you. I was an outcast once. Forgive me. You're right to ask. I convinced them to speak. I told them we were only sentenced to be outcast, not to die out here. An intelligent approach. How did you come to be an outcast? I was a fool. I refused to do what I was told. Never went hunting when I could sit under a tree instead. I argued with my family every step, picked fights with other braves. One day, such a fight grew fierce. I got a lucky hit, an unlucky one. He went down, and there was no one left to speak for me. I deserve to be an outcast. You seem different from the person you describe. I hope to be. We are all outcasts, but we need to stay together to survive. This camp we once hated could serve us well now. Would you let us stay here, even if it flies in the face of the Matriarch's laws? Of course, by all means. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say so. You... you're an inspiration to us. Thank you. Looks like I'm clear.
Feels good, doesn't it? Hold it inside you one last breath. Then let it out. Ugh. I didn't find your partner. They killed him. I hardly feel surprised he was already getting cocky when we carved through the last band of camp. I thought you and I were to I only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle, just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Yours doesn't. You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you. And the way you hold your bow. I said a concerned bow. And I was a soldier. But I was a soldier longer than there was a war to follow. Where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I want. So I make opportunities to find it. That's why I'm coming home. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? No, they don't get that look in their eyes. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They were filthy lives, so they have to die that way too. So you hunt them down to help others? No, no. For spirit. I can't wait for wars anymore. Life's too short and the thrill of death too sharp. If you kill a tribesman, I'll do retribution. Hunt a boar, they complain if you waste the meat. But bandits, they're vicious. They always put up a fight, and no one cares if you kill them. I'm not sure who's worse. You or them? We're standing. They're not. Clearly, we did that. We're done here. Here? I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't let that infection set in, would you? I'm sure I'm really good. Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, Oh, my God. Okay.
mother's crown. Feels more like a military. So many wounded. The border's closed. What yes, happened to you, Hunter? Are you all right? Oh, I'm grateful for this wound. It's a lesson I won't forget. And you should heed it too. How's that? I was chasing a galloping grazer, so intent on my prey that I didn't see where I was going. Right to the threshold of a cauldron. A cauldron? What's that? Ah, you're from inside the embrace, so you've never seen one. A cauldron is a sort of door, I guess. No one knows what lies beyond. Some say machines are made inside. Others think they're dens of evil, where the spirits of the metal devils linger. Same thing, I suppose. Whatever they are, they're forbidden. You mentioned a lesson before. What did that wound teach you? As I stood before the cauldron, my prey scampered off and I stared, dumb with wonder. For a moment, I was a child again, wrapped from stories told by hunters at the campfire. I had a powerful desire to see what was inside. That's when the Watcher attacked. Cauldrons are guarded, you see. I barely fought it off and got the scrape as a reminder. There's a reason the Matriarchs forbid those places, and not just because they're dangerous. We weren't meant to see what's inside. I'll never waver again. This scar will see to that. But for a moment you felt something. A sense of discovery. Are you so sure that's a bad thing? Has to be, right? Or I wouldn't have been punished. Where can I find this cauldron? My point is, you shouldn't. Then describe the place I should avoid. You're a clever one. But not so clever as to heed my warning, I see. Fine. You're grown. I can't stop you. It's dead north of here, past the red drifts, built into the side of a mountain. Just remember, I told you to stay away. Where are the Seeker? The one who was an outcast? My hunting party... My party has... <laughs> you fought the killers, didn't you? The ones that attacked in the Proving. You saved many lives. I wish I could have saved everyone. Did you... Did you... <laughs> How far did you follow the killers? What are you getting at? Are you worried your hunting party has been killed? There are worse things than being killed. What's worse than being killed? I'm... I'm not like you. I can't live as an outcast. I'm afraid... My friends went into the ruins. I can't go there or I will be cast out. But I can't abandon them either. What was your hunting party doing? After the proving, we were so angry. We wanted to strike back, and those corrupted machines left tracks we could follow. We caught up to them at dusk. We fought with all our burning hatred. But in the dark and chaos, I... I couldn't see everything. They stampeded, and, and then I was alone. I ran back here, but my party is... Your party is... Gone. Tell me what you want. Speak plainly. Find my friends. We were so eager to fight the corrupted machines, we didn't realize we'd reached the edge of the ruins. You're a seeker. You can enter Devil's Thirst without judgment. But please, have pity on us. Don't tell anyone we were there. You have nothing to worry about on that end, trust me. I'll see what I can do about your friends. Brave! Mother's crown could make use of your bow. Me? Well, you are a brave, aren't you? We need boar skins. Our stitcher works his hands raw, repairing cloaks and armor. There's good boar hunting to the east, past the falls. But there's a machine out there now. When I saw it, 
I dropped the hunt, ran for cover, knocked an arrow, but then I... No shame in living to fight another day. No, it's... My ring had come loose. That was my luck in the wild. My mother's mother's prized from a machine's jaws long past. You put that much trust in a ring? After all that's happened, I need luck as much as the tribe needs those skins. I'll see what I can find. If you can help, you have my thanks. I'll be at the campfire when you come by again. I said I'd meet Laurel and Sona near Red Echoes. Oh, it's you. The outcast turned seeker. I've heard you're good with bow and spear. Some even say you're the best. I think I hear a challenge in there somewhere, and I'm not interested. I have more important things to do. Oh, I see. The Seeker doesn't have time for us lesser Nora. Too busy hunting machines and marauders. Well, I can't claim to have faced the corrupted or danced with demons, but I have earned a few sons at the hunting grounds at Valley Meet. Have you? Or maybe your seeking hasn't taken you that far. You went to a hunting grounds in Valley Meet. Is that even in the Sacred Lands? Depends on who you ask. It used to be ours, but since the Red Raids ended, the border is a bit... unclear. Most Nora don't go there, but the Matriarchs won't cast anyone out for heading that way. As for the hunting grounds, the Keeper's a Karja. He can't refuse anyone the trials, but don't come on too strong. <laughs> He's so afraid of the Nora, he might jump out of his skin. <laughs> How did you win those suns? I took down machines with three different types of arrows. Freeze, shock, and fire. If you aim to take a trial, you'd better come equipped. But I'm sure a seeker is always prepared, right? Do you try to provoke everyone you talk to? Only seekers with red hair and big reputations. And how often do they come around? You're the first I've seen today. If your seeking takes you to the hunting grounds, see if you can earn a blazing sun. If you do, you'll know you beat me. Consider it done. Surely the cards of fate will not turn on us again. I can't believe such a thing. The girl with the mark of a seeker. The sentinel saw you coming. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it. But their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is, the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. So if I clear out the corrupted machines, they'll open the border? I suppose. But I can't spare any braves to help you. Who said I needed help? You'll clear the valley, all by yourself. I'm good with the bow. For your sake? Better than good, I hope. So I'll find this Karja fort to the west? And beyond that, Meridian? Yes, the Karja call the place Day Tower. It's not far from the Forsaken Village. What Forsaken Village? It had a name once, not that it matters now. I was born there. What happened to it? The war. The Karja destroyed in one of their red raids. I was 15 at the time. I got away, others weren't so lucky. The Nora withdrew to this place, Mother's Crown. Relinquished our claim on the valley. Even now, with the war behind us, we've left the valley be. A kind of buffer between the Sundom and our sacred land. How far has the corruption spread? I've seen it myself in machines at the head of the valley. And there's been word of corrupted machines in the south, too. Whatever the corruption is, it doesn't just affect machines. It burns flesh and sickens the injured. Do the corrupted machines have any weaknesses? 
Fire seems to affect them more than ordinary machines. A small mercy. This is a curse only the goddess can lift. Unless we find out what's behind it and put a stop to it. The matriarchs have spoken, Aloy. All we can do is fight and pray to the goddess. Mother's crown guards the edge of the sacred land, right? So do you see a lot of foreigners here? Yes. Not here in the village itself, of course, but in the valley beyond. Since the war ended, foreigners have been allowed in the valley, and Nora can trade with them, if they choose. It's a kind of in-between place, neither foreign nor sacred land. If you're curious, visit Hunter's Gathering. It's little more than a heap of dingy shelters and tents, but foreigners use it as a way station. Sounds like a place where I could find out more about Meridian. So you're in charge of the defenses here? Mother's Crown defends itself. During the war, it survived 15 assaults, broke three invasions. We will endure. Trying to live up to glorious pasts has a way of getting people killed. You wouldn't know this, but I won the Proving the Year I ran. Like you, I started off behind, had to find a shortcut. I barely made it, crossed the finish line with a broken ankle. This isn't the Proving, Maria. This is real. You missed my point. Getting posted to Mother's Crown? It was the boon I requested. My prize for winning. Trying to live up to the glory of the Nora hasn't killed me yet. But if it has to, I'm willing. I should be going. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever it is you're after. The Karja Faithless hide behind their forts and borders. The Nora will fight the spreading corruption. They still don't know who she is. Careful out there. Some things are the other. We both know it's not. And we're better at it. Those machines, you can see the corruption coming off them like smoke. Time to clear them out. <laughs>
Maybe there's a way to override them, but where would I find it? Shards and lives are on the line. You're right. Mine are the little two things. 